Welcome back to another weekly GMBN Tech show. Coming up on this week's show, we check out a very cool new bike from Pole. We also have a look at the new 2019 Nuke Proof range, including a Sam Hill replica. And we finally announced the top 10 shortlist for the bike build competition. Stay tuned. So first up, let's take a look in news at the new Nukeproof 2019 range. Now, first thing to report is there is no significant difference between the 2018 and the 2019 range, other than improved spec and, dare I say, some better colorways on the bikes. So of course, there's the Mega 275, there's a Mega 275C and a Mega 290. So the Mega in aluminium, the regular 275 now, is available in a few different options, Comp, Pro, factory, and of course, there's gonna be the C model in the RS. In the RS, that is the Sam Hill replica. So, the bike that he raced for much of the 2018 season in that blueberry finish with the red RockShox lyrics on, you can now buy that basically replica bike. The only difference is he had slightly different tires. He had the Michelin DH22s on his, and they're not on the production model because they don't currently exist yet. And also there's DT wheels on the regular model, as opposed to Sam Hill's Mavic wheels on his own personal bike. But adorned on the top tube is the number one, the EWS sticker, so you can be sure it's a same quality bike as Sam Hill would race himself. Something quite cool across the range now in the Megas is the fact that they come with two volume spaces in the forks and in the shock when RockShox expect, because apparently it's quite hard for aftermarket to, to have those volume spaces included with the bike as well. So they're just specking them in the forks and shock to start with. Now Nukeproof wanted to point out the fact that you don't actually need them, they're there so you've got them if you want to adjust the ride and you can take them out. So it's a nice easy process and we've got videos on how to do that on GMBN Tech. Now, just in case you wanted to know, Sam Hill runs two spaces in his front and rear. So that was the choice for going for those two spaces to be able to get the same ride attributes that Sam has on his personal bike. Now, have a look on screen now and you can see some of the new colorways, which are amazing. There's a burgundy red color. Of course, there's that blueberry color. But actually, I think the comp models steal the show. So the comp models across the whole range are all battleship gray. And I just think, they look so cool, so sign me up for a Scout in a Battleship Grey, because I think that just looks wicked. Now also the Scout race model, which is the model I currently have in red, that's got a few upgrades on it. So it's got a slightly improved sector fork on it now with the black stanchions on there. And it also comes with a Brand X dropper post, which is a nice touch on there, which didn't actually come with a dropper post to start with, I had to retrofit one separately. And it's a really, really cool bike. Of course it comes in 290 and 275 options. I also really like the look of the new 290 range. Now they're not available in carbon, they're only available in aluminium, but I had one for quite some time. In fact, I had two models and absolutely loved that bike. Now, although I've got a 275C, I'm actually going to swap it out because I'm a sucker for 29 inch wheels. I really like them and I think I'm going to go for this model with the Fox on it this time because I had RockShox last time. What do you think of this bad boy? Next up is a new bike from Pole. Now, you might, if you blink, you might miss this because it looks very similar to the machine, which is their current masterpiece of CNC engineering. Now, this is their new bike, it's called the Stamina. Now, where the machine had a 160, 180 setup, this is 180 front and rear, 29 inch wheels. Just look at this thing. This thing, a CNC machine, this is absolutely stunning. Now, the image you're seeing is a mock-up. It's not a final image, so there might be a few things that change on the bike. They did suggest that they might go even steeper with the seat angle and even slacker with the head angle. Now, Pole, of course, are currently the kings as far as long, low, and slack goes, because they are definitely longest, lowest, and certainly slackest than most other manufacturers available out there, certainly with the stock settings. Now the headset cup is going to be machined into that frame as part of it because it's such an accurate process and the metal has already been heat treated so there's going to be sort of no bad tolerances it's going to be like a perfect frame by all accounts now i'm really excited about this frame i think it looks amazing have a look at it on screen now now also Paul says they're putting together an ews racing team for next year and they're intending on i'm going to be racing this very bike what do you think of the pole bikes do you think they're too long do you think they're too radical i mean I'm loving that seat angle because it's going to climb like a winch going up a hill. So uh, let us know what you think of those pole bikes in the comments below. Now next up, we've just seen some of the new 100% gloves. Now a lot of people know them for their riding goggles and eyewear as seen on the face of Peter Sagan. In fact, 
but they actually make some pretty trick gloves as well. So first up, there's the Brisker. So this is a thermal glove with a windproof backing. It's got a nice Clarino palm on there. Nice and warm. I've actually used some of these a few years ago. And actually, it's a really decent off-road glove. It's just got a nice thin palm, but manages to keep you nice and warm and protected on the back of the hand. But the new thing for 2019 are these two models. So you've got the Brisker Hydromatic, which is a waterproof version, very slightly different. It's got a bigger cuff on there as opposed to the small Velcro cuff, extending further up your wrist. And it's got this quite cool PU palm on there. So it's a fully sealed glove, but it's also quite thermal and thick, I guess, on the back. And they also have a non-thermal version, just called the Hydromatic. So a slightly thinner glove, but completely waterproof with those long cuffs. It's about time, you know, that the glove manufacturers started doing this, keeping them nice and thin to feel, but offering what you want from a winter glove. Now, something that's quite cool to say about these is that on a lot of gloves that have got the waterproof membrane inside, you can actually slide around with the glove material against the membrane because there's various different layers there. But these ones, you can't do that because they're actually bonded together. So that's quite cool. Good little tip there for a bit of winter mountain biking. And lastly in the news this week is Formula have finally released the R version of their Selva fork. So this was a fork I was really interested in earlier in the year. Such a trick fork has a whole bunch of cool features. And the R is coming in what they call Factory Ultraviolet 30. Have a look at that for a colour. That is unreal. Not seen anything quite like that, except maybe the Fat Chance Team Yo Eddie colourway way back in the uh, early 90s at some point. But anyway, so let's just have a look at some of the details on this fork. So there's twin air chambers on there, so there's positive and negative air chambers. So you, it's possible to adjust the feel of the fork, the breakaway feel, how linear you want it to feel, by independently adjusting those two chambers. That's a very cool feature, and something we did see many years ago on some RockShox forks, although it did have its issues in the way it was implemented with the single chamber, but twin adjustability because you could actually creep the fork down in travel and well anyway um, there's also got the neopos system on the inside so that is their answer to volume spaces but except of being made of a hard material they're actually made from closed cell foam so one of the traits of having a volume spacer made from closed cell foam is it actually compresses as the air chamber inside as the air compresses the effect of that is it's not just the ramp up at the end of the stroke it's a more consistent ramp throughout the travel and one of the cool things about it is the rebound on it. Apparently, they're saying that the rebound damping is going to be far more consistent, no matter how fast the fork moves. So it's quite a cool additional thing to have inside a fork. Now, there's a various, various different options on the chassis there. So there's 27.5 available in 130 to 160, which is the standard version. And then there's 170 to 180, the long travel model. It's a 27.5 plus stroke 29 inch model, which is in the standard, so that's 130 to 160 mil travel. Now offset on the on the 27.5 is 46 millimeters, and on the 29 inch stroke 27.5 plus size, you can have 46 or 51 millimeters offset options on there. A 35 mil stanchion, so the same size as Lyrics. Axle standard is 15 millimeters, but there's also a 20 mil option if you fancy having something a little bit stiffer up front there. Now compression wise, we've got 12 clicks of compression on there and a whopping 21 clicks of rebound. Now the fork to me looks phenomenal. All the adjustability, the Neopos system, we really want to try it to see how that feels in comparison to other options on the market like the MRP ramp and of course regular volume spaces. But they don't come cheap, I'll tell you that. So uh, I've got prices in US dollars and euros here. So they start at 1,350 euros or 1,551 US dollars. And they go up to 1,460 euros or 1,667 US dollars for the factory ultraviolet 30. Whew. Not cheap, but flipping cool. What do you guys think of that ultraviolet factory 30 purple color? Let us know. All right, now it's time for an update on the bike build. So you guys have been entering the competition in your hundreds. We've been overwhelmed by the amount of entries we've had. And we've had our social team going through all of those entries to figure out who's been actually sticking to that brief of under one minute and telling us about yourself and all that stuff and put them all into a big pot. And then they've basically stuck their hands in there and they've pulled out the following 10 videos. So it's gonna be up to you guys to pick who wins the custom Santa Cruz Nomad bike build project that we built here at GMBN Tech. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play those top 10 videos here and then there's gonna be a link in the description below 
for you to click on and vote for your favorite. Now make sure that you do vote. It's really important because this is a community project and also take into account that we want to do something with that winner. So have a think about that and look at the following videos. First up is Ivo from Slovakia. Hi, my name is Ivo. I'm from Slovakia and this is my bike. <whistles> Nevertheless, recently I fell in love with mountain biking because it isn't really about the bike, is it? Before, I used to be a mountain runner, climber, and a skier, but then this happened. So I had to relearn how to walk afterwards. Running is not an option for me anymore. My leg is partially paralyzed, and screws in my back hurt a lot when I try. So I had to look for another way to keep myself fit. It took me a year and a half, but in the end my old bike is what brought me back to the mountains and I will be forever grateful for that. But it kinda feels like it might break any minute now, so I could really use a new one. What do you say? And next up is Jonas from Bavaria. Hi, I'm Jonas Lugauer, 16 years old and living in Germany. I've been riding bikes since I was 4 years old. By learning how to do it, I realized how much fun it was. So I asked my dad every day to go for a ride. Being 10 years old, biking wasn't that much fun anymore. Until me and my friends discovered a beginner's trail. And that's the reason why my addiction for mountain biking kicked in. And here's my beloved Scott Hardtail. It was great for starting the sport, but now after four years riding it, I started outgrowing it. I always wanted to buy myself a new mountain bike. But as you know, mountain bikes are very expensive and as a student, I can't afford it. Now it's over to Dana in Tasmania. Hi, my name's Dana. Oh, that's me, the goofy one right there. I'm 16 years old and I live in Tasmania, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Over the years, my father's been very good to me. He would love to come riding with me, but mom said he's only allowed to have one toy, so it looks like we'll have to sell his car to fund our adventures and buy a bike. He has already built a wash station for our bikes and the dog and given up his shipping container and turned it into a bike workshop, which reminds me, I really must clean that up before he gets home. Dad always says if you ride a bike you must know how to fix them. He has also started to build us a bike park in our yard. It would be great to win this bike from GMBN as it would help my dad save my, I mean his car. Thanks, GMBN Tech. I love you guys. See you out on the tracks. Right on, now it's time for Simeon in the USA. Hi, my name is Simeon and I love mountain biking. I live in the US, but I started mountain biking in 2011 when I lived in Tanzania in East Africa. I wanted to explore the mountains behind our house, so I got the best secondhand bike I could, fixed it up, and started riding every trail and footpath I could find. I even made it up the almost five and a half thousand feet to there. It was a real satisfying achievement for me. I practiced bunny hopping and log jumping. I didn't wear a helmet at first and I paid for it. I always wear one now. A year and a half ago, I moved back to the US to central Virginia. I got a Trek 29er and started riding. I've been blown away by the mountain biking trails here. It's just amazing. I really enjoyed getting to know the mountain biking community here. They've built so many amazing trails. It's a great group. I won't cancel a group ride no matter what the weather. As for what the GMBN Tech Show bike would do for me, I would just love riding it. I love my hardtail, but some of the rough, rocky trails around here just beat me up. So that bike would be amazing. So that's my story. Thanks for watching. Next up, over to Assel in New Zealand. This is a story about a squid, a rare species of squid that's into mountain biking, known as Squid the Fish. Hello, GMBN. I'm Squid the Fish. I'm from Wellington, New Zealand, and I love riding my bike. It's hard for a squid to make it in the world of mountain biking. Here's Jared Graves. One stage feel incredible, the next one you ride like a bloody squid. So that's what I have to deal with. 
And now for the big question. Why do I want to win the GMB and Tech Bike Book? I want to win the bike for my human friend, James. Hi, I'm James. No, no. <laughs> James is a bit sick. He's just getting over a nasty thing called cancer. I think this bike would really help James through his recovery. So please vote for us. It would be so good to get back out there with James on this new bike. Squid the fish, over and out. Now it's time for Andre in Italy. Hi there, my name is Pasco Andre. I live in Pescia, Italy, and I am the fastest mountain biker on the whole planet. This is my downhill pro bike. Actually, I am so fast that the Italian police is looking for me in 25 countries, so I only ride in the woods. Actually, I do not need your bike. Actually, I do need it because I've almost died on that thing and my real bike is kind of broken. Winning this bike would literally change my life. When I ride, I just feel like everything disappears. Makes me feel free and makes me feel happy. Riding is my passion, my hobby and my obsession. This bike would improve my life by a lot. I will be finally able to get back on the trails again and do what I like the most. This will literally be a dream come true. I want to thank GMBN and Dadi for this huge opportunity to win this one-of-a-kind special beast bike and uh, I hope I get enough votes. Jared in Vermont. Greetings, Dottie and GMBN crew. My name is Jared, and I'm a third year electrical engineering student at the University of Vermont. Here's a bit about myself. I pay for all my student expenses. To make that happen, I work as an RA in my dorm, I work a part-time job on the weekends, and I also work an internship during my school breaks. So to get away from all that, I go and ride my hardtail. Here's a quick bike check. So this is my 2017 Cannondale Catalyst 4. Over the course of a year owning this so far, I've had to replace fork, hydraulic disc brakes, pedals, bottom bracket, Rear derailleur, cassette, front and back wheels, and I've added some mud flaps. And last but not least, and the stupid amount of bike lights, because you can never have too many bike lights. Let's go back inside. Winning this bike would be life-changing as it would ensure years of epic riding. I'd start by going home to ride Lift Access DH at Killington Bike Park. I'd start posting videos to YouTube, and as my way of saying thanks, I'm going to start volunteering at my local campus bike co-op. And so with that being said, I want to thank you so much for doing this giveaway, because this is what makes the MTV community so amazing. Matthias in Finland. Hi, I'm Connor Caldera, and I'm 17 years old now. And this dude is my owner. He's Matthias, and he's 32 years old. We live in Finnish Lapland in Ullas area. We have lots of good trails here, but as you can see, it can get pretty rough sometimes. And I'm too old for this kind of punishment. I just feel that I'm in the way of Matthias getting better as a rider. And it shouldn't be that way. A bike should encourage his rider to push his riding and get better as a result. That Santa Cruz Nomad would probably do just that. And the sizing of the Nomad is perfect too. So I think we both would be happy if Matthias won the bike. Thank you GMBN for giving us the opportunity, and whoever wins the bike will be the happiest person in the world. Harvey all the way over in the Philippines. Kumusta? I am Harvey, 18 years old, and I live here in La Trinidad, here in the Philippines. And this is where I have started biking. Every time I ride, I appreciated simple things like how nature was created. I can find peace whilst riding. The feeling of riding my mountain bike is really unexplainable. That's when I began to love mountain biking. It is unfortunate that our country is not known in this kind of sport. And so my biggest dream is to represent my country and win World Cups for the Philippines. Winning the GMB and Tech Bike Build would push me to strive more and make my dream possible. I want to share my passion and inspire more people into mountain biking. Also with that, I hope in the near future, we would see Filipinos standing in the podium. Nicholas in Mexico. Hello GMBN, I am Nicolas, I am 18 years old, I am from Monterrey, Mexico. I ride bikes because it makes me feel alive. I also like going really fast and being in contact with nature. I try to 
ride and train as much as I can as I am very competitive and from five years from now I plan on racing Mexico's complete enduro series and maybe riding an EWS race in my continent, who knows, for sure. I got my eyes on the Santa Cruz Nomad. If I win the, the GMBN Tech bike build, I will definitely give her a beating and trash her really hard with love and respect, obviously. And it will definitely help me to pro keep progressing on my skills and my games, my race speeds and stuff like that. So there you go, that is the final top 10, and there's gonna be a winner out of that top 10. So firstly, I just wanna thank everyone for taking part in this. We've had some incredible videos, and we're gonna be making a little best of compilation for next week's show, so keep an eye out on that. But seriously, thank you everyone. This is such a cool project, and we really want it to go to the right person. So please remember to get voting. All you have gotta do is click the link that's in the description under this video, and vote for your favorite. Share it around, get all your mates to vote, for it as well and of course we do encourage lobbying if you're watching this and you're one of those lucky finalists so get all your mates and families to vote and share around good luck so there we go another weekly GMBN tech show in the bag please don't forget to vote tell all your friends about that competition and for a couple more great videos if you want to see that Santa Cruz that's up for grabs click up here and if you want to know how to repair tubeless tire punctures click right down here. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends and biking community about us. And if you like GMBN Tech, give us a thumbs up.